and the member for Stirling. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Defence Industry. And will the minister outline for the House how the Morrison government is keeping Australians safe by delivering on its commitment to back Australian defence industry? And is the minister aware of any alternative policies? The Minister for Defence Industry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I do thank the member for Stirling for his question. How we ever follow that, I'm not quite sure. But I, I really would like to acknowledge his uh, performance within the Australian Defence Force and, and also his strong passion for the defence industry, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, because of a strong economy and the Morrison government's strong budget management, we are keeping Australians safe by delivering on our commitment to the defence industry and also delivering for our defence forces. Mr Speaker, last week the Prime Minister and I had the great pleasure of visiting the RAF base Tyndall in the Northern Territory, uh, where we announced our government will invest some $1.1 billion in the base, which is on top of the $495 million that we've already invested in the new air combat capability infrastructure at the base. Mr Speaker, as part of that investment, $242 million in work flowed into the Northern Territory community with 38 local companies sharing in some 64 per cent of the work. This is good news for the Territory, Mr Speaker. That's Territory and businesses being able to test their capability, Territory and businesses being able to grow their capability, and over 300 Aussie jobs will be created in the next phase of the project. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister and I had the great pleasure and we saw firsthand the quality of work being undertaken at the base by local Catherine contractors like Mr Jeff Usher from Custom Cabinets, who supplied the bench tops, the cabinets and custom joinery during the upgrade. And I'd also like to acknowledge and commend Savannah Solutions, who provided services including developing opportunities for Indigenous businesses to be a part of this program. And I think it's worth mentioning, Mr Speaker, that some $27 million was invested in local Indigenous businesses for this $495 million investment. For the next $1.1 billion phase, um, the managing contractor expects that the local con content will actually exceed 70 per cent. So this is great news for territory and businesses, great news for those territory and construction industry and defence industry, but more importantly, great news for developing new jobs in the Northern Territory. Mr Speaker, when you compare that to the record of those opposites, I think it's pretty clear that we on this side are backing defence industry. In Labor's six years of office, defence spending was cut by $18 billion, bringing the defence budget to its lowest level since World War II. Mr Speaker, our government has spent the last six years reversing that neglect to our Australian defence industry. We're investing a record $200 billion in our defence capability which will create more jobs and create more opportunities for our Australian defence industries. 